and and invoicing is is really one of the last pieces of the puzzle but a very important one um yep. I think the business owners can uh, agree with that um and if i'm correct the, the the automated invoicing has of course made your life a lot easier uh but it actually had an immediate impact on your business by by fixing that revenue leakage that uh, that Emmerich was also talking about. Um, what, what were the actual issues you managed to address that caused this? And uh, yeah, what was the bottom line result that you've seen? Really dirty words, aren't they? Revenue leakage. Um, it, <laughs> I think the I think the first thing to say is oh, yeah. that. Um, it actually wasn't until we implemented Salesforce that we even knew that we had these dirty words of revenue leakage. Um, when we were working on some of our process mapping and some of our flows in terms of getting that those job stages right, um, it was identified. And it, I guess it was in, evident in every area of the business. So we probably started with marketing. We had, I guess, separate marketing campaigns going out that maybe were something as simple as the wrong price for the wrong size home. So we could have the wrong incorrect rate, you know, at the very start of our process. Um, then it moved into things like the failure to deliver on audit services. So we talked about, I guess, a breakdown between sales conversions and order fulfillment. You know, we'd, we'd be celebrating a fantastic sales month, um, not seeing that then translate into actual order fulfillment. And, and I'll generally use an example there. We work 50% of our businesses in construction. We, we're so aligned with the construction industry and a builder can order four or five services with us, but it is really on him or her to order those services um, and to call those services up. So without the right tracking and without us even being able to monitor that, we're giving a lot of power to our sale conversion um, to the end customer without much follow-up. So we, we were able to address that. Um, I think another one, and these sound like really simple things, but even order variations. You know, we had no approval process or no workflow there for um, the situation where something might change on site. Because that information was in our field service product, our technician may require to do more or less um, from what was initially sold. And I guess without that translating back through a documented order variation process, we're experiencing this leakage that we're discussing. Uh, all, all of that, I guess, consolidated turned into incorrect invoices. And I think for any small business owner out there, that's the last thing that you ever want to hear or talk about is an incorrect invoice, um, particularly when you've sold a high dollar value uh, of work. And, and we felt like we were doing an amazing job um, out there in the field. We've got some amazing services and a great team out there delivering work. But for us, it was just always a constant struggle between simple matrices, uh, correct price for the service, whether it's a quoted fixed price job or schedule of rates. There was just always inconsistencies um, going back to just making sure that we're charging the client the right price. Uh, so, look, it was probably not an area that we really embarked on thinking was a huge issue for us. And uh, knowing that we wanted to scale as a young, progressive company, it was one we focused on a lot. And uh, it was great to see some ROI on that. And um, I know discussing this with you during the week, we were talking about the ROI we received and, you know, we were able to isolate that we were losing anywhere up to $150,000 per annum in missed revenue, you know, like up to $50 per order in some cases, just by misalignment in systems. Yeah. Um, and even order fulfillment, we were talking that, um, you know, 98% of our orders were actually getting fulfilled and it might sound like a nice number, but when you're doing 15 to 20,000 jobs per annum, you know, that's anywhere up to $100,000 worth of missed um, revenue. So, look, we um, we just wanted to make sure we were charging the right rates for the great work that we we're doing in the field. 